Hi, and welcome to this WordPress plugin series. I'm Axel Mulat. In this episode, I'll be show you how to optimize the file size images on your WordPress site. Optimizing the images in every site is necessary because it can help to load fast your images. And this is the part of site optimization speed will be work the images first and the next episode we will be do the caching on this website we will be install a wordpress plugins of course and this plugin i search the image compression under the plugins section and we'll be install this too we'll be comparing this plugins and we will be choose the one only on these plugins which is the best image compression plugin to our site okay let's start to this one go to your admin go to plugins add new and go to search plugin and type smash and as you see guys the two plugins is show up on this keyword because this plugins is very popular and we'll be talk first this smash image compression by WP Moo Dev, and this plugin has a limitation on file size image. This plugin can compress if the image, the file size image is not more than one megabyte. Okay, go to this documentation. Scroll down, and this features available smash all standard web sizes images one megabyte or smaller so if you choose this plugin what you will do first if you upload the images you can compress first the images using the tool like photoshop for example this image is 2.39 so that plugin can optimize the file size this image taken from the iphone so we'll be drag this to Photoshop and optimize the file size before upload to your WordPress self-hosted site. Save for web. And I choose medium. And as you see, the file size break down to 637 kilobytes. So it break down the file size. So you can now upload this image and optimize using the smash image compression plugin what you will do is save and save to desktop and upload to the wordpress site okay we'll be install this first and install this we will not activate this too we will be activate this first activate by the way if you don't have a uh, photoshop you can use the online tool this site tinypng.com just drag the image here and the image will be optimized the file size on this website okay back skip and this is the page plugin from media there will be smash and okay this is the default this is fine actually i use this first in my axelmulat.com site click this to optimize the images on your site it will be take time so i skip the video okay guys it's done all images are smash and up to date and as you see in the stats the image number is 480 images smash and total savings is 1.3 megabytes so my other images are optimized on this plugin to reduce the sizes and let's see the library okay choose this list grid and as you see guys there have a new section here from wp smash plugin and the status of the image if already optimized or not this image is already optimized this image optimized by smash plugin reduced by this 3.3 size and this is the status of the 
optimize size plugin and also if you upload a new image it will be automatically optimized by the smash plugin it will be reduced the size automatically if you upload a new image okay that's the features on that plugin the WP smash and let's switch to the second plugin let's deactivate this deactivate and you can only choose one guys of image compression plugin to avoid conflict activate this compress image in png by tiny png activate okay now and after activate guys go to settings plugin this plugin guys needs a registration to use you can register via here or by a api dashboard page and we'll be look this file compression first will be unchecked because this is i do not use this size in my page masonry masonry this section guys this ac this is comes from my team support not all team have this so just uncheck if you did not use the size in the public page and after that save changes okay guys after save go to tinypng.com go to api developer and your email address and get your api key go to your email okay this is the email comes from tinypng and visit the dashboard and grab the api key copy back to settings and save and your account is connected and after that go to media bulk optimization and we will be talk the limitation on this plugin guys you can compress 500 images every month so that's the op that's the limit of this plugin but this plugin has the best compression other than the previous one if you reach the limit on this plugin guys every month you can use the photoshop compression if you want actually i use this if I upload the image in my WordPress size, I compress in the Photoshop first and upload to the WordPress. And also you can use the online tool, the tiny PNG, just drag the image here. It will be optimized the file size and download and upload to your WordPress site. I will be skip this video guys because this take too long. Okay guys, it's done and this is the results. 40% savings and this is the status compress compress and so on and let's go to library click this library and also there have a new section here from the plugin compressions and check check size compress total savings and also if you upload a new image it will be automatically compressed by the plugin if you left uh, if you have a left credit and as i said this plugin has a limitation so let's see the left credit now in this page dashboard slash developers as you see your usage this month zero over 500 if i reload this page so this is my usage on that compressions process i compress 262 images so i have a left so i decide to choose the tiny png instead of the smash plugin because the tiny png plugin has the best optimization than the smash so i stick on this plugin if you go to google and type versus tiny png just research about this guys smash versus tiny png okay guys we have the last image optimization the cdn by a jetpack plugin okay go to admin go to jetpack and settings 
By the way, guys, if you don't know how to set up the Jetpack plugin, I will be include the link of the video on how to set up this Jetpack plugin in the video description. Just check the video description below. In the writing section, scroll down media in this speed up images and photos. Make sure this is turned on. It will be color blue. This is the CDN for images. So let's check in the public side if the images loads fast and CDN works. This post has a lot of images, useful top WordPress plugins. So the images loads well. Okay, and the CDN, if I click this, so as you see guys, the source of these images is via the wordpress.com CDN, which is the io.wp.com. So this image source is not on your web server or web hosting. So this image load from the wordpress.com CDN. Okay, all images. If you have a question on this video guys, kindly fill in a comment box section and I'll be response as soon as possible. I know guys, this video is very helpful to you. Please like and share this video to other people you know, especially in social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. Please subscribe to this channel to get updates every Tuesday, weekly every Tuesday. So see you next Tuesday guys. Once again, my name is Axel Mulat. Bye for now.